How annoying, leaking tap. It's actually quite simple to fix. I'm gonna show you how. I've been in here for less than five minutes and that noise is really starting to annoy me. So the first thing we need to do is switch the water off, okay? I can't stress this enough. Whenever you're working with plumbing, you need to be able to isolate the water, okay? Now there's two ways that we can do this. Go and locate your stopcock. Stopcocks are usually located in your kitchen under the sink or sometimes by the front door or even sometimes under the stairs. This is a relatively modern unit, so it's actually been fitted with an isolation valve underneath. So instead of me having to go to the stopcock, I can just switch it off here. Okay, I've managed to isolate the water now. As you can see, it's stopped drifting. So it's a good idea, I know it has been isolated. But just in case, let's get a bucket, put it underneath, just to make sure if we do have any accidents, we're covered. Another little tip for you. Let's just put the plug in. Just in case we open this up, find a little screw comes popping out, we don't want to go losing it down the sink so we can't put the tap back together again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the top of this tap off. Okay, and then it just is loosened and unscrewed. Next we're going to need our posi headed screwdriver. It's got a posi head just simply because it's got like a positive sign on it, like a cross. And this will just fit into our posi headed screw. Now you might find this a little bit tight. Remember left is loose, right is tight. So we turn it to the left and we should find it loosening. Okay, so that's the head off. Now the mechanism we need to get to is just behind the top part of this tap. This again should just be a screw tap. As you can see, just screw it off. Now, this is the bit where you might need a little bit of elbow grease. We're gonna be using the wrench and we're gonna be using the adjustable spanner. So this is where the old cloth comes in. So just put it over the tap, just to make sure that we're protecting it. We're gonna secure the tap with the wrench and then we're gonna get the smaller spanner onto the head of the tap. And remember, left loose, right tight. Just gonna turn it to the left. And that is the culprit. That is just a rubber washer. And these washers you can pick up in multiple packs for no more than a pound, any DIY store. And that is the only thing that uh, causes your tap to leak. It perishes, it's rubber, it's gonna perish over time. And that just stops the nice tight seal uh, between this part of the tap and that part of the tap. So what we need to do now is get this out and replace it. As you can see, there's a tiny little nut on top of there. So we just need to undo that. Adjustable spanner again, tighten them up. These things are great. No point in spending loads of money buying different sizes of spanners, just get adjustable ones then you'll find that maybe one or two will do a multitude of nuts. So we just loosen that. Okay, now we need to get this washer out. Okay, and that's it. Just see that tiny little bit there that's degraded? That is what was causing that leaking. You can just go to your DIY store with this and you can match up exactly, or for most common taps, I'd say just a half inch washer will do you, so you can buy it before if you want to do it really quickly. So we've got our nice new washer, and we're just going to pop it in exactly the same position. And with this tiny little nut, just tighten it up. Remember, right is tight, left is loose. Let's go to the right. Give it a little tighten. You haven't got to be too much too concerned with this, as long as we've got a good bite on there. Okay, and that is almost done now. We've just got to put it all back together.
And there we go, no more drip and tap. And what did that take us, five minutes? And just imagine how much money you've saved in plumber's fees. And bear in mind guys, if you're thinking of renting a property or even selling your property, just something little like a drip and tap can make it look really poorly maintained. That didn't take us five minutes. It's something you can do yourselves. Just make sure you switch the water off first. <laughs> Thank you.